beauties. Who's number four queen? Hi beauties. This is Sam from Instant Beauty. Uh, so this is our fourth video in the tips series. Um, and uh, let's just get right down to the nitty gritty. So the first tip is to use your hands to apply hairspray as opposed to spraying directly on your hair. Um, sometimes, I mean, it depends on your style, of course, and your hair texture, but sometimes I find that spraying uh, hairspray directly on the hair just um, creates kind of a sticky mess sometimes, um, and it makes it hard, crunchy. So to create some nice bounce to your look, um, just spray your hands first with hairspray, um, evenly distribute it before it dries, bounce it in there if it's good for scrunching or if uh, uh, for laying it flat if you have straight hair. So uh, that, that's about it for the first tip, but uh, it's a really good one. The second tip is to clean your brushes. Come on people, clean your brushes. If this was a makeup tutorial, they would say, clean your brushes. Um, it's really important to keep your tools clean uh, just because, I mean, it, it keeps your hair clean. Um, and especially if you have extensions, you want to keep those clean as well. And it just really, they work better if they're cleaner. So, I mean, this is especially important if you do use a lot of product because the product can really build up and cake into the brush as, as well as your, your own hairs that get wrapped up in the bristles. So I definitely recommend to clean your brushes. The third tip is to use baking soda to remove the green tinge that blondes may get um, from chlorine pool. So, I mean, uh, I'm sure if you're a blonde or if you wear extensions and you are blonde, it's, uh, it's a pretty horrible thing that can happen. The, the chemical of chlorine can turn the blonde hair green or leave a greenish tinge. So to remove this, simply just add some baking soda to your regular shampoo and it will clarify and cleanse and remove the tinge. So the fourth tip is to wash your hair in, as infrequently as possible. Um, and I know that I've probably said this a hundred times in a hundred different videos, but it is such a great tip. You do really want to try your best to train your hair um, so that you don't have to wash it every single day because it, like the natural oils that build up in your hair are so important to keep your hair moisturized and silky and uh, really helps to prevent damage to your hair and to even repair damage if you have damage in your hair. So, um, but basically what I'm saying is try to wash your hair as infrequently as possible. So I would recommend max two to three times a week if possible. Um, and if you find that you can't get this done right away, really your hair will be trained. <laughs> it's, able to, it's able to be trained. So um, just make sure that you use dry shampoo on the in-between days and uh, you should be good to go. So tip number five and the final tip for this video is to just use no heat. Um, when I say that, I mean no heat with uh, flat irons or curling irons or a very strong blow dryer. Um, it's always great to let your hair dry naturally if possible or just to try and use heat um, as infrequently as possible. So what I like to do is if I style my hair one day, I try my best to let it stay for the next day or the day, even the day after and just try to have um, really fun, interesting hairstyles in between like putting my hair up or adding um, some extensions in or something just to create uh, a no heat style um, so that way you don't have to use the heat on that day so even if you alternate every day without using heat then you'll really see a difference in your hair so that's it guys for this video um, i hope you enjoyed all of our tips be sure to check out all of our other tip videos because we've done a series i don't think i mentioned that in the beginning maybe i did maybe i didn't um, either way do it no i'm just kidding uh, okay guys, if you have any questions at all or if you have your own tips, uh, feel free to leave them um, below. That way everybody can uh, benefit. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching and uh, I'll see you later. Bye.